Well, good morning to you and welcome back. Taking a look outside right now, we're seeing a little bit of some quiet skies. We'll really start to watch as the sun will rise this morning around about 7 o'clock. Now, it is going to take a little bit. Until then, we do have some patchy fog among many of our communities, not to mention our temperatures are sitting somewhere in the 50s. Our visibility here in Grand Rapids is perfect, but across the region, we actually do have hindered visibility, especially for some of our southern communities where a lot of that visibility is under a mile. So remember, if you're headed anywhere, pop on those headlights, take it slow on the roads. Temperatures are a little brisk this morning, mainly in the 50s. We are seeing overall plenty of clear skies, a little bit of cloud cover popping through parts of Holland this morning. Um, if you live in Three Rivers, ignore that. If the sensor has been off for a couple of days, you've got clear skies, a couple of passing clouds. It's relatively quiet among all of our communities. When it comes to our winds, zeros across the board. We're going to stay at those zeros over the next couple of hours as well. Very quiet and very calm. Now, right now we're seeing overall just a little bit of passing cloud cover, but we do have some showers that are starting to originate over in Wisconsin. Those showers are set to make their move into the region, but it does look like they'll hold off at least until Monday. So far this morning, we are going, however, going to see a lot of that cloud cover build in over the afternoon into the evening hours, and then that rain shower chance starting to move in by Monday morning. We're thinking about 11 o'clock to almost noon. As that passes through, that could bring the chance for a couple thunderstorms. The low pressure system will continue to twirl around West Michigan, and that will bring us a couple more chances for rain showers by Tuesday as well. So our chance for thunderstorms really starts to pop up on Monday, and then all of those rain showers begin to slowly fizzle out by the end of the week. For today, high temperatures are expected to reach 76 degrees. So overall, another very beautiful day, mostly sunny skies, very seasonable for this time of year. As we head into tonight, temperatures will take a little bit of a dip, not as cool as last night, but they will, however, start to be a little bit cooler, mainly in those middle 50s. As we head into Monday, we do have the chance for a couple showers and thunderstorms. So showers and thunderstorms bringing us some much needed rain after a lot of dry days. After that, we'll continue to see those chances for rain moving on through for Tuesday. Uh, overall, pretty much fizzling out by Wednesday. Wednesday will be our coolest day on the seven day clocking in at 63 degrees. So it'll feel very much like fall over the next couple of days. But once we start to make it into the rest of the week toward the weekend, that's when temperatures start to be on the upswing, bumping into those upper 60s, lower 70s with the potential for some more sunshine, mainly becoming mostly sunny by Thursday and then partly cloudy for both Friday and Saturday. Again, by next weekend, it's looking a little bit nicer with those uh, 70 degree temperatures in the forecast. So a couple chances for rain at the start of the week, but things start to even out by the very tail end.